that takes me back a bit, that one, does it you? Absolutely, I remember that, I got my first flat on Salford Precincts, Coleman Towers. Oh, I remember it, oh, I remember it well. The penthouse suite. The penthouse suite, I would say that would you, it was more like a cave. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. The hovel. Yeah, it was good, you had a few good nights in there. The young ones. That's what it was like, wasn't it? Who was you living with at the time? Was it Yuma or something? No, Monks, Monksa and uh, Mike Clark. Yeah, little Clark, yeah. Little Clark, yeah. Top lad. He likes a drink for me. Ooh, we can he put it away, like kid. I'll tell you what, though, he was a decent rugby player, wasn't he? He was, he was a top rugby player. I, mean, oh. I think he was his uh, stature that he, he didn't get it. He didn't yeah. make the grade, really. Still, he was a top player, though, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a top player. Very good player. Ed Trev went bad either, so he tells us. Yeah. I like what he tells us, like. Yeah, well, he, Trev can talk. Yeah, he talks a good game, doesn't he? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we've got a clash, eh? Yeah, that's a good tune, mate. I thought, oh, wow. Does that bring any memories back for you? <laughs> Once or <it> twice. <laughs> today mate apart from the libertines and the arctic monkeys well, not about the arctic monkeys I'll have to beg to differ on that one mate do you know what I mean it is another class tune though I've got to say yeah that's something you play at the fair isn't it oh and you could imagine on the ro- roller coasters or oh. the waltzes no oh. I remember you robbing all them pikes on the fair once we are doing a bit worked on the ladybirds on Beulah Park one for them two for me one for them <laughs> two for me very lucrative <laughs> and did you get your wages off of as well yeah, absolutely. I think it was on about four quid a day. Four quid a day. 50p an hour. 50p an hour. The good old days. Yeah, but really it was 4 50 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Which was a lot of money in them days, wasn't it? Thank you. Also, wasn't it? Yeah. You yeah. go back to like the 1980s, <clears throat> if you had a, like a fiver on you, you could have a good night out on that. Yeah, yeah, you could. You could. Can't yeah. buy a packet of fags for it now, can you? No, can you? It's you can't get it. 10 now, I don't think, for the fiver, can you? No, it's a joke, isn't it, mate? Yeah. It's a joke how things have changed. Again, yeah, wages haven't gone up, have they? No, the rich get richer. No, that's me and you get poor and me. Correct. And that's life. That is life. Because that's how they want it to be. Yeah. They want you 
you know, I'll, we'll talk about this after the, what's it, Radio Air Day. Yeah, why not? Let's get a Radio Air Day on, I know you like them. I do. The green plastic watering can For a fake Chinese rubber plant And a fake plastic girl And she bought from a rubber man And a time for Talk about uh, the wealthy and the rich. 
Yeah. What are your views on that, mate? Well, I've heard. I mean, I don't know if the statistics true, but I've heard that ten percent of the popul ten percent of the people in this country own ninety percent of the wealth, and ninety uh, percent own ten percent of the wealth. And I think it needs to be dis- distributed far more evenly yeah, throughout society. And imagine what a country this would be if that wealth was spread out amongst everybody. What they won't do that, will they? Well, they won't because they like to keep. The people down, don't they? Of course they do. That's why they make programmes like Benefit Streets and the Scroungers on the Dole and stuff like that, right? That is just government propaganda. In my words, government shite. Yeah, it, it, winds, it winds the middle classes up, doesn't it? Yeah, so really. they say, scroungers, scroungers, look at them scrounging. They're not scrounging. Some, well, some of them are, but predominantly people are just struggling to make ends meet and people need benefits, like in-work benefits and stuff like that. Yeah, because exactly. the wages are so low in this country... They have to rely on these handouts. Yeah. And you try getting these benefits, they always say, you're, oh, you're on the threshold, mate. Yeah. Can't have them. But they end up having to pay full rent, struggling week after week. Yeah, just to make ends meet. Right, and then they put programmes like that on, and then you're going to turn against them. So they sort of like turn the middle class against yeah. the poor on, when it's really... Someone should make a programme like scroungers at the top, scroungers like Starbucks who don't pay tax, Yeah, shouldn't they? Yeah, all these big corporations who, pay, who milk the system. Like these bankers... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They've got the right name, haven't they? Yeah. Just a bunch of bankers. Correct. Yes, right, let's go to another track. I'll tell you what, we'll go to Blurdy. Yeah, why man. not? Why not? Charmless man, I think he pressed the wrong button there, cut the, half the front bit off, didn't you know? It must be about me, that track. Charmless man. <laughs> Why is that, mate? Like? I don't know, do oh, I? Shut up. <laughs> you had your moments in life, aren't you? Only a woman. I'm sure I have. <laughs> a few and far between nowadays. It's very secretive about that. Oh, right. here we go, mate. Eh? Here we go. Probably half of mine anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, mate, what do you want to go on over next? What do you want to talk about? Let's talk about immigration then, shall we? Immigration? What? Yeah. Are all them. At Dover, like, yeah, well, we need to put the full sign up at the door, don't we? Because we, we can't yeah. saturate anymore. Look at the, what the germ, what's going on in Germany now. You know, a million people this year going to Germany. Know, do you know what? And we've we've sucked 10% of what they have, yeah. And you can see, like, now these riots on the streets of Germany, can't you? Well, you go. 